why are the atomic masses for most elements not whole numbers? This is easily apparent when you look at a periodic table. All of these have some obscure decimals written after them. Magnesium, for example, says 24.305. There's two things you need to consider here. Number one, the masses on the periodic table happen to be averages over all the isotopes of that atom. Magnesium comes in several different flavors or isotopes. Some of them weigh 24, some of them weigh 25, some of them weigh 26. So when you average all the magnesium atoms that you can come that you can find in the world, you're obviously going to get a decimal because you're averaging 24s and 25s together. You're going to get something in between. But I will point out that even when I say some magnesiums weigh 24 and some weigh 25, it's actually more like some of them weigh 23.998 or 24.997. I'm making those numbers up. But even each isotope individually does not um, have like an integer whole number mass. Now, two things I need you to consider there. Number one, there's something called the mass effect. This is more of a physics thing to do with the strong and weak nuclear forces that are holding the nuclei together. Long story short, when you put protons and neutrons together, the actual mass comes out to a little bit less than the whole masses of a single proton and single neutron put together just because of the way these fundamental forces work. And when I say fundamental, I'm talking about like gravity, the fact that plus and minus attracts each other. There's other uh, fundamental forces in the world that chemists just aren't responsible for. Just know that the mass effect throws off the masses of nuclei by just a touch. The other thing is that all of the masses of each isotope are also relative. In fact, we often call them relative atomic masses. We define the isotope carbon-12, six protons, six neutrons, to be exactly 12.0000000 repeating at infinity. But then everything else is going to be based off of that. And again, because you're changing the number of protons here, the number of neutrons there, you're not going to get exactly 0 0.00000 when you combine them in different ways. So the answer to this question, why are atomic masses not whole numbers, depends on whether your teacher's asking you about the numbers on the periodic table, which are averages over many isotopes, or whether it's about each isotope individually in which case they might be talking about the mass effect or they might be talking about the fact that all of these masses on the periodic table of all the isotopes that make up each one of these are all relative to carbon-12 simply because that's how chemists defined it. Cool? Well, maybe not, but this is the way it is. You're welcome. Best of luck.